What's up everybody, 32 Icon here. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing well myself. Please go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't already in good faith that I will continue bringing you great content. Oh, and I'm just another YouTube personality, so take what I say with a grain of salt and do your own research, okay? All right, so listen, if you haven't already, go ahead and pick up your t-shirt, all right? Email me at 32icon at gmail.com or you could go on to Facebook at 32icon. I have them in white and I also have them in black. Now, smalls and mediums are sold out. Now, you guys know, I told you before, I don't do Patreon. So if you want to support the channel, you want to help out, you know, purchasing these shirts, help me because YouTube always demonetize these videos. Anytime that I show this in a video, or a handgun, it is automatically demonetized. So they don't want this content up there. And so by purchasing the t-shirts, that also helps. Now, um, thank you Optics Planet for sending over today's products that we're going to review. I told you in a previous video that I have the Battle Arms Development upper and lower receiver set, and they happen to send out a Battle Arms handguard, uh, tribe defense gas tube, and ballistic advantage uh, barrel. The ballistic advantage barrel is 14 and a half inches. It includes the low profile gas block, is one and seven twists, and is mid length. It is also finished with the 4150 chrome molly and is HP MPI tested. If you don't know what that is, that's pretty much high pressure testing as well as some magnetic testing. It's corrosion resistant as well. Now, when you talk about the Battle Arms Development Handguard, it's 13.7 inches, weighs nine ounces. It's finished with 6061 aluminum. Lastly, Tribe Defense Gas Tube. All right, it's pretty much nothing to say about that other than it works. Now, I wanna get one thing out the way because it's real simple and it's easy to talk about. On a previous video, I showed you that I was having trouble with the gas tube. The roll pin wouldn't work. Well, apparently the roll pin that came with the Tribe Defense, it, the diameter of it was just a tad bit out of uh, spec. It was a little too large. And so a friend of mine gave me um, a couple of other roll pins to put into the gas tube and it worked perfectly. I had like two bangs, bang, bang, boop went in perfectly, whereas the previous pen did not. So I want to say that maybe they sent the wrong pen by accident, but nonetheless, the gas tube itself, I haven't had any issues with it. It works well with the gas block, and uh, I'm going to talk about that after I get into the handguard. So with the handguard, it's a battle arms development handguard. There's a lot of relief cuts here. Okay, I already gave you the specs on it. If you notice, there are a lot of lightning cuts. Now, I have these real uh, covers here. I, I put it here only because I wanted the chrome to pop and I have this Arctic grip from Ergo's grip. I love their grips. I really love their grips, but I, you guys tell me, should I get rid of them or should I keep them or should I just do all black rail covers? <sighs> I don't know, all black is lit, but you get tired of seeing the same color over and over and over and over again. So I thought I would change it up a little bit and my niece didn't like it. I'm not crazy about it, but it does kind of bring out, you know, the accents in these parts right here. I don't know. Anyway, I'm getting off track, but you guys let me know. Ditch or keep. Okay, all right. So anyway, um, so the handguard is very lightweight. You have an attachment here if you want to put a sling uh, there. Again, M-lock. Now, if you notice up here, it doesn't have a uh, Picatinny rail up here, okay? It has it on the end where you see my uh, front backup sights and then it has it right before you get into the upper receiver if you wanted to put something here. I'm not even sure why. I guess some people move their optics forward and maybe use that, or it could be if you have a, um, a scope and the mount of it extends beyond the upper receiver. I don't know, but I like to have my optic 
on the upper receiver itself, not on the rail. But anyway, it's there, okay? It's there if you want it. What else? Again, it's lightweight, lots of relief cuts. Let me show you on this side. Battle Arms Development put their logo right here. Very nice touch, okay? It's sleek, it's low profile. It'll fit most of the low profile gas blocks on the market, all right? Feels good. My thumb wraps around it, all right? So I'm here. It feels good. It doesn't, you know, you guys know that I shoot like this, so when I'm looking through my optic, I don't really see um, my thumb, which I probably would if the Picatinny rail was just a little bit higher, but it looks good. Okay, now getting into the barrel. Now the barrel, again, I told you it's 14 and a half inches, and this is the Dead Air Flash Hider. Let me get that a little closer so you can see it. That looks good. And that's up there because I have a tax stamp out for my Dead Air Nomad. And uh, yeah, it's gonna go on here amongst others, I guess. I have the whole um, chemo attachment. So anyway, that's a, that's a story for another time. Okay, what else? The gas tube, it worked just fine. Okay, no problems. The barrel worked just fine. I didn't feel like there was a lot of gas in my face when I was shooting. It felt good to shoot. It felt soft. And I don't know if that's because it's mid-length instead of carbine length, but it was smooth shooting. It felt good. And you guys are probably wondering why I'm angling it like this. It's because this brace here is very limited with the cheek space. So I find that when I tilt it in a little bit, uh, I get more cheek rest out of it. And also it is more natural because our hands are like this, right? Our hands are not like this. Our hands are like this. So it is more natural that I'm like this, if that makes sense. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so I don't know what else to say other than I had a really good time shooting it. Um, I didn't have any malfunctions. I didn't have anything that I had to double check it. It fit perfectly. There are no gaps here because again, it's a whole um, assembly. So it's all from Battle Arms Development. So their specifications are gonna be, you know, they're gonna fit perfectly because they manufactured all of the parts, all right? So that's, you know, I expected that. But with the barrel, it felt good. Now, I didn't do a lot of rapid shooting, and I wonder how it will hold up against that. I also wonder how it will hold up um, out to 200, 300, 400 yards. I haven't tested that. I haven't really been to the outdoor range. But so far in the indoor range at, uh, where, where was the most we went? I think it was 30 yards. I think it was 30 yards out, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong. It could be more at uh, Grayson's. If you guys know, if you go to Grayson's, then you know how far that is. But I shot all the way back there, and it worked just fine. Now, you're probably wondering what this is. This is the Samson uh, vertical foregrip. And real quick, one thing I noticed about this foregrip is that it is versatile. It's made from aluminum. It's really nice. Um, but when I put it on a shorter barrel, the screw down here, which I'm trying to do this while I'm on camera, see if I can, yeah. This screw down here, it loosens up because of the tough recoil on a shorter barrel. When I put it on here, I didn't have that issue. This never loosened up at all, but it's kind of unique. I like it a lot. It's Initially, I didn't like it because I thought it was too thin for my hands when I went to go grab it. But now the more that I play with it and the more that I use it, what I notice is that I like this on a thinner, more streamlined handguard as I'm able to wrap my hands around it completely. And then it acts more as a hand stop than it does as a vertical foregrip. All right. So... Listen, go to Optics Planet, 
check out the Battle Arms Development Handguard. Check out the Tribe Defense uh, Gas Tube. And certainly check out the Ballistic Advantage um, Barrel. I was very pleased with it. I don't have any gripes about it. I haven't had any malfunctions. That's why this video is really simple because it just works. I mean, outside of the specs of it, it just... There's really nothing else to talk about other than it works. Now, again, this was not out to 100, 200, 300, 400 yards. I haven't been able to test it out there. But for my indoor range purposes, it works just fine. All right. Now, um, I'll do another video where I'm going over uh, how I want to finish this build out. I don't know if I want these hand guards up here. I don't know if I want this grip or this grip color, I actually, I, you know what? I might keep this grip, because I like the color and I love how the Ergo grip feels. I told you guys before, Ergo grip is a winner for me. I also love Magpul's K2 Plus grip. That's a winner for me also, but just I might just keep this on there and take these off. I don't know, I don't know. What you guys think, you let me know. All right, so that's it. Check them out. All right, see what they have. Again, you can use my code 32icon. All right, and uh, that's all I have for you guys. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you're doing well. Treating one another with kindness, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.